Hey y'all, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers. I know I've been gone for a while, um, but I've been life. <laughs> That's what I've been life. So um, I've been trying to get back to it. So hopefully I'll make some new content very, very soon. And check it out, check it out, check, 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 check it out like comment subscribe babies hey y'all so i had to make this video real quick because it's been like heavy on my mind some of the things that be going on with influencers specifically influencers for kids um toddlers you know babies uh preteen even and I came across this video by Fox News um, and they were talking about Disney. So I'm just going to put in this video and we're going to talk about it a little bit because I find it highly ridiculous about what's going on. Like, why is this even going on for it? I'm about to start the video. I might be looking like over because that's what the video playing at. Governor of Florida has signed a bill banning teachers from talking to small children ages kindergarten through third grade about their own genitals or encouraging them to change their gender. The overwhelming majority, overwhelming majority of Americans, including of Democrats, agree with that because it's common sense and the alternative is disgusting and probably illegal. But at the Walt Disney Corporation, they were infuriated by this. Disney called an all-hands meeting to discuss new ways to indoctrinate children without their parents' knowledge. Chris Rufo obtained footage from that meeting. Here's the executive producer of Disney Television Animation. So I really don't get into politics. Um, I don't like that type of stuff. I don't really, I believe both parties, Democrat and Republican are one and the same. They may say they got differences, views and stuff, but I feel like they want in the same at the end of the day. So y'all can argue with me about that if you want to, but I don't really care. I don't really like the whole politician parties. I don't like none of that stuff, but that's for a different conversation. I just want to know like why Disney feels the need. They're there to entertain kids. I mean, maybe teach them about friendship and stuff like that, but not to initiate sexual things that's for parents to teach like that's something for teenagers late teens like 15 and up 14 and up you need to learn about the birds and the bees type of thing toddlers and like what why that is so weird to me that's disturbing and bragging about quote injecting queerness into as many shows as she can our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda i don't have to be afraid to like let's have these two characters kiss let's in the background this are, like i was just wherever i could just basically adding queerness to like the, if you see anything queer in the show Family. But like, I, I just was like, no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. Okay, let's talk about why this lady really trying to project LGBTQ. These are kids. Adults, okay, do what you gonna do. But kids, like, what is your point in doing that? Talk about nobody was stopping you. Lady, I'm about to look her up, executive producer of Disney TV and um, sorry, I just gotta go back real quick. Her name is Latoya Revenue, Ravenue, I don't know. So I was like, let me see if she like a part of the LGBTQ community because it wouldn't make sense for her to just be, you know, projecting that on kids. And apparently she's a mother of a transgender and pan, a pansexual child. She wants at least half of all future characters to be LGBTQ. That's fine for your child, but I don't want my child 
no like don't get me wrong i have no issue with lgbtq people at all like i have friends that are a part of that you know i don't have no problem with that but that's for an, an adult that's an adult decision to make that age they don't even know what the birds and the bees are so why are you telling them you can be whatever you want to be sexual wise to kids that are not sexual or should not be for that matter kindergarten to third graders no baby no no i don't i don't support that at all like it's very disgusting that they even had a secret conversation about that. These are babies. You're projecting sexual things to these babies and it's disturbing. Um, and I don't know why they got the woke stuff on here. Like what is, that's not being woke. That's brainwashing, that's not woke. Like they got the whole woke thing wrong, okay? They got it wrong. But let's continue. Okay, so here's Disney's diversity and inclusion manager explained that the company will no longer use the words boys and girls. Watch. Last summer, we, we removed all of the um, gendered greetings in relationship to our life skills. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we, we've trained, we, we've provided training for all of our, our cast members in, in relationship to that. So now they know it's, it's hello everyone or hello friends. I'm gonna look up this diversity and inclusion manager. I'm a adult that likes cartoons still. Like, I still like it, you know. Um, and I have Disney Plus, you know. I do have a kid too. So we, I enjoy watching cartoons with him, you know pay attention to what he watches, you know, and what I watch also. Um, Cause it's always some type of hidden messages in these cartoons nowadays or adult comedy. I definitely try to regulate since they, that age, kindergarten to, so I believe that's what, like four to seven year olds, eight year olds something like that so that's like the age of influence high influence that is the sponge age where they absorbing all of that that's not the type of thing they need to absorb that's like the last thing they need to be absorbing okay so i tried googling this other lady that spoke um vivian ware and she like nowhere to be found yeah and so she started this group with disney because she's part of the LGBTQ. I just want to know, like, there's no Disney princesses, Disney princess, prince, princesses, prince, princes. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. There's no kings and queens. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> and I think they're confused. Because how's that going to pan out? That's what Disney mostly is about. They're confused. They're trying to confuse our kids. These babies just got into this world and they barely know anything except for what is being taught. So are you going to teach them? Things that they shouldn't even be knowing about until they're teenagers. Teenagers. It's not something they should be worried about having fun, learning their ABCs, one, two, threes, and colors, and let's watch the rest of this. De-gendering your children without telling you. Chris Rufo is a journalist and a filmmaker and quite a reporter. He got this footage as he's done many times in the past on related topics. We're happy to have him join us tonight. Chris, thanks a lot for coming on. So what, what exactly was that? So this was an all-hands meeting in response to Governor DeSantis's legislation where uh, Disney had assembled their LGBTQIA uh, activists that they've set up within the company. 
Uh, and they said that they're deliberately trying to take programming that goes from even ages two to seven years old and inject queerness into that programming. Notice how they said programming, programming. This guy's face, the Tucker Carlson, he is funny, dude. His face is just confused and frustrated the whole video, like flabbergasted. And I am too, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know the ratio of somebody being like LTBQ out of 10 people. Like, I'm sure they're not babies from ages two to five. I'm highly, sure that they're not um seeing as those ages should not be sexual you shouldn't even be sexual at 10 like that should you should probably be curious by 10 maybe like kissing curious but not little blown sexual curious like that's not something that should be exposed to children. Uh, they're trying to uh, really make all of their programs uh, this left-wing gender ideology compatible. Uh, and they're even doing something I think that is at the height of hypocrisy. At the same time, they're falsely accusing Governor DeSantis of implementing a don't say gay policy, which is not true at all. They were systematically and simultaneously telling all of their park employees to eliminate the words park ladies. employees to eliminate the words ladies gentlemen boys and girls they're projecting onto the governor what they themselves are doing we've caught them on tape and the evidence is damaged just try to make him the like escape goat the governor of florida the escape goat for what they probably have already been planning to do because these two women have been working for Disney for quite a few years. Um, the first lady, Latoya, La I forgot her name already. But anyway, it doesn't really, it matters, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, they have a Toy Story spinoff where Buzz, I don't even know if that's a girl or, uh, let me not say the end. The beginning of time, it's always been male, female, ladies, gentlemen, they want to make it to where there's no gender. That's very confusing. I'm interested how it's going to play out, but I don't like it at the same time. I am a Disney fan. Um, I was watching conspiracy videos, um, hidden gender videos type things earlier today. And then I seen, I read comments, of course, and I seen that this, lady mentioned about the new um proud family uh show now i used to be like huge proud family i watched the mo their movie that came out all of that back in the day you know early 2000s or whatever or mid 2000s whatever and i loved it i loved the show like that was my stuff right there okay but this new one as soon as i seen like the commercials for it and stuff i was like mm, i'm not really rocking with that but she mentioned episode seven of the first season so i'm like oh let me go check this out real quick so i watched it i watched majority of it and it was just really like i didn't like it i don't like it at all like who is this doing the friends she got um one of them seems to be trans maybe uh which is okay but like i said the age range like the age i was watching that i was like 10 12 something like really young like um so it's just like weird that they would put that on there and i know it's like the same age range watching that of course, probably some people my age might have checked it out if they still like cartoons, but if they don't, or if younger people watching that, I don't think that's something that they should be watching. You guys can look up the rest of the video if you want to. I think it's other parts to this video also. Um, but yeah, this is like their own personal agendas they're projecting on kids, as they said, like, 
make it make sense and it's pretty just weird it's really weird like what the uh carlson guy said like this from pedophile type stuff because it is and it's crazy that they're really making this like the thing like why I understand you have kids, but apparently your kids are old enough to make those decisions as to being transgender. I feel like they're old enough to make those type of decisions responsibly and not with the parents' influence because they're not even fully grown yet and they be having these, I mean, this... Lord, like I said again, I don't have no problem with the LGBTQ plus. I don't have nothing against them at all. Like, do you, baby? I salute you. I just don't like it for kids, for the babies. I just don't like that. I don't think that's something they should be involved in. They're too young. They don't know about sex at all. They shouldn't even be exposed to that type of content at such a young age like before 13 that should not be exposed that should be like the last conversation into a 13 year old's brain like comment down below let me know what y'all think about this um situation going on i'm curious on to what um people have to say thanks for watching my video so i look like a mess but it's a chill day so um check out my next video let me know what y'all think about this like comment subscribe